So file uploads is now coming inside Pabli Connect. As you can see, what I have done is I have added few file links inside my Google Sheet file. And you can see the first link is .mp4, the second link is .png, the third link is .png, .png, .png and .png. Okay, so I have connected and added six file links inside my Google Sheet file. And now this file links can actually be added from a Pabli Connect automation. So for example, let's say if you are scraping something or if you have file links and you are adding those file links inside the Google Sheet file, those files will automatically be downloaded from the remote source and they will actually be uploaded inside your Google Drive file in real time. We have developed an add-on which actually makes it possible to do the very same thing. And I'm going to demo the very same thing on how you can download the files and upload those files to Google Drive in real time with the help of that very same add-on that we have created. So as you can see, this is an add-on menu right here. Now you just have to go to add-on and click on get add-ons right here. As soon as you do that, just search for Pabli. Okay. And you will actually find two different uh, Chrome extensions. In fact, they are Google Sheets extensions. So you will actually find two different extensions. This is for webhooks. And this is the one extension that you have to use. The add-on name is Upload Files to Google Drive. Just make sure that you click on it and click on Install button. Because I have already installed it, you will see an Uninstall button right here. But otherwise, it will be an Install button that you will see. Once the add-on is installed, just click on add-ons button right here and click on Pabli Save to Drive. Okay. Once you are into Pabli Save to Drive, the first option that you have to do is you just have to click on Setup menu right here. Click on Setup. The file URL, you, you actually have to give three different values. First is the sheet name. So the sheet name is right here. On the bottom, you can see sheet one. I have already added my sheet name. Then you have to mention the URL column on which all the URLs are placed. So you can see on column A, I have all the URLs right here. So I'm just going to write the name of URL column as A. And then I have to mention my destination drive folder ID. So if I go back to my Google Drive, all Google Drives, uh, whatever folder it is, have a folder ID. And you can actually find your folder ID right here after the folders options right here. So if you see the URL structure like drive.google.com slash drive slash folders, this is going to be the folder ID to which you want to save the files. So I'm just going to copy this folder ID and I'm just going to uh, enter the folder ID right here by pressing control plus V. You can also right click and paste. And once this is set, just click on set button right here. Okay. And you can see the setup is configured successfully and you can just click on close button right here. Now, if you go back to add on, you have actually two different options right here. First is save on a schedule. If you enable this option, what it will do is it will trigger the automation every one hour and it will automatically save all the file URLs, which are automatically added to this file into Google Drive. Okay, so save on schedule is something which is a set and forget type of option where you can save on schedule, it will automatically trigger every one hour and it will pick up all the file URLs and it will upload those files to Google Drive. If new files are getting added to the very same sheet, it will pick new files uh, automatically, it will not upload the very same file again, which has been uploaded already. The next is the save now option, which is an instant option. If you really want to download and upload some files instantly into your Google Drive, you can actually use the save now option right here. Just click on save now and I will be showing you how the save file options work on instantly. You can see the starting row index is something that it is asking us for. So the row index in our case will be two because starting the row number two, we actually have all our files. And then it is asking us for the number of rows that it should pick up. In our case, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have actually six rows that the software needs to pick up. So I will say that I want to fetch six rows uh, instantly. Okay, so it will start from row number two, and then it will start and pick six rows from the row number two. 
okay and once you set up those options just click on save to drive let me just go back to my drive you can see i don't have any file uploaded right here we are going to see six files added to my google drive after i click on save to drive option right here so i'll just click save to drive button right here i will have to wait for few minutes and currently the operation that is going on background is it is actually downloading and fetching the files whatever the remote source is it will be downloading the files from that remote source and then it will be pushing those files inside my google drive folder and all the files will be added to my google drive in real time so you can see the save operation has been completed successfully and now i can just close down this window and you can see the status is right here file number this has been added to drive file number this has been added to drive file number this has been added to drive let me just go back to my drive and see if i all the files have been uploaded so you can see png 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 there are 1 2 3 4 and 5 png files that have been uploaded i can just click on those files and i can see the files have been uploaded this is one of our team's photo and then you can also see the mp4 file which has been uploaded you can just click on double click on mp4 file and you can see the mp4 file is also uploaded to the google drive so as you can see everything looks fine and everything has been uploaded if you really want to set it up as setup and forget you can just go to add-ons again again go to pably save to drive click on save on schedule now it will what it will do is it will automatically save any file url that has been added after row 7 probably because you have already uploaded files until row 7 so any new files that you add after row 7 will automatically be fetched after an hour and they will automatically be uploaded to google drive if you go back to add on pably save to drive you can see the tick option right here which essentially means that this specific option is enabled right now and the files will start to be uploaded automatically as soon as the trigger runs in an hour so again thank you for watching this video and let me know if you have any questions you can always reach out to pably team at admin at pably.com thank you